hello, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally going to review a full-size photo printer. So it's no longer a mini photo printer. Like I saw some comments on my mini photo printer reviews and some people wanted to see a regular size photo printer instead of like the mini ones because those mini ones are super tiny and I know that's not what everyone is looking for. I'm super excited to announce that this video is in collaboration with Kodak and this right here is what we're going to unbox and I will give you my first impression as usual and just to see if it has a good quality or not. Also, make sure you stay until the end because we're giving out two photo printers, one on my YouTube channel and one on my Instagram. I'm going to be completely honest. You know how much I care about that quality. When they email me, they're super confident with their photo quality. This is Kodak Doc Plus instant photo printer. It prints out a regular full-size photo, which is 4 times 6. I think 4 times 6 is a good size. Like, that's what I usually print out anyway if I go somewhere. So yeah, I'm super excited to unbox this with you guys and, you know, finally I can print out regular photos at my home. I didn't know there's like actually a specific photo printer like this. I thought you can just use like other printers which I've never really used because you know you gotta trim the paper down and it's just like a lot of work. This printer specifically it's for photos so once it's print it's print. You don't have to trim it down, you don't have to do anything like that. It's there and it's instant. As always before we start don't forget to subscribe, turn on my post notifications and follow me on Instagram. This is the photo printer paper. This is this part right here. Lightning and USB-C converter. It's good for both iPhones and Android phones. Over here, it shows you how to put in your photo paper. Next, we have the printer itself. Ooh, it's so tiny. I love it. I love how compact it is. It's cute. It's super cute. And I love that it's yellow. And this yellow, it's exactly the same color as the Kodak yellow. Kodak, it's been like out forever, ever since I was little. I feel like I grew up with this brand. Looking back, like in my childhood, I would see my mom with a Kodak uh, little camera thing. And it's like those like with the camera rolls. If you have seen those, you know my age. <laughs> like Those are so old. I feel like kids nowadays, they would not know what I'm talking about right now. And the last thing in the box, we have the charger. They also sent me a spare cartridge. And let's open this up. So in this cartridge and paper package, you have 80 sheets and you can print 80 photos. It's like connect here. It's like this, super easy and simple. Okay, I just plucked it in and let's open this up right here. Cute, it's super cute. I feel like even though this is not the mini photo printer, but it's still very tiny, which is cute. Oh. Okay. Insert a paper facing the shiny side up. Inserting over 21 sheets may cause a melt function. Be sure to not overstuff. Avoid touching the coated paper with your hands as it may affect the photo quality. So the printer came with 10 sheets. You can just put the entire thing in here. Okay, sunny, I mean not sunny, <laughs> shiny side up. I wanted to say sunny side up. The other side looks like this as like logo. Let's just put it in like this. Just close it up. Ooh, look. On this side, it has a little door right here. You can open it. And this is where you change your cartridge. You have to pinch down a little, like pinch it, and then just like pull it out. It's super easy and simple. If you have an Android phone with a USB-C plug, you can already like insert your phone right here. But I have an iPhone, so it's nice of them to include this lightning converter. So this printer is listed for $159.99. 
but right now it's on sale for $129.99 on their website. It's also on Amazon. It's the same price, but over here has a coupon that can save you $20. That's a lot. It's a very affordable printer. Over here has the QR code. So you can probably just scan it on your phone. Let's try this. This is the app. When I open the app, this is what it looks like. And I see over here it says Printa Case DIY. That sounds so interesting. I don't know how to do that, but I need to turn this on. Okay. Over here it says Kodak Instant. So let's printer found. I just went to the photo gallery and allow access. You can choose to connect with your Bluetooth or you can just plug your phone right here and you don't have to connect to the Bluetooth, which is amazing. You can pick either way. I picked out the photos I wanted to print. For some reason, it doesn't show my favorites album on here. It shows like all kinds of album, like all of my albums besides the one that you hearted. So I had to make an album, move the photos I want to print into that album. I use this very cool technology. It's called 4Pass Printing. The photo will come up to be water resistant, solar resistant, and fingerprint resistant. I think that's amazing. Like your photos will last longer that way. So right here, it shows that you can print with or without a border. With the border, it gives you that Polaroid vibe, which I love, you know I love that. So this is with the border and this is without the border. And over here, you can add if you wanna print multiple. Let's try this out. Do not close or exit out your app. Oh, it's transferring right here. Transferring. <laughs> Something is happening. <laughs> Pixie got scared. <laughs> Ooh, it's coming out. The four pass. So it comes out one time and was yellowish. And now the second time, it's more of a rat tone. And it's gonna go back in. The third time. The third time is gonna be like the blue tone. It's going to add the blue tone. And go back in. The fourth tone is the black or grayish tone. This is so cool. This is so amazing. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous. I was a little bit scared at first because I saw why is it like all yellow, like the first time when it came out. But I remember I was reading and I watched a video, I will link it down below. On their YouTube channel, they have a video showing like the four pass technology printing process. This is how I know which tone comes out first. Wow, just well. The colors are super accurate and the quality is amazing. Color accuracy is on point. Over here has this line right here. I don't know if you can see. So it has that dash line on the top and bottom. Let's do this photo right here. Me at the beach. I do miss the beach a lot. The printing process is honestly so cool. Like you see layer by layer, four layers. Wow. Look at the sky. One thing I noticed is the dash line over here, like it cuts off my feet. It's not like the full photo, like the full picture in it. Like it will cut off my feet if you want to cut it off. It shows the border. It's going to cut off my feet. Keep in mind, if you want the full photo to be included, then you should print with the border. This photo was taken with my camera, so it's super long. The bottom is like cut off. Even if you use the border, you're still going to be cut off. So in order to fix that problem, you can edit. Um, over here, it has this edit. You can edit a photo. You can even like adjust the brightness and all that. One thing you can do is you can make the photo as small as you want or as large as you want. I think that's great. I'm going to fit it like this and print. Printing. Another well. Look at that. Ah, 
Do we have to do more? I feel like it's so obvious that it's going to turn out amazing no matter how many I try. But I do want to print more because, you know, it's fun. I'm going to test out this photo because this photo has a lot of like shades and shadows. I feel like that's a good way to test out the bath photo printer, like with the shades and shadow it turned out very strange like very awkwardly with all that complication right here this is a great photo to test it out so let's do it i'm super happy with this result now i'm going to turn off my bluetooth and just print it with this docking connection right here to test it out if it's working Go to the Canon app. It beeps. So when it beeps, that means like it's connected. With the border, like without, with, I'm going to print it with the border. Now I have successfully printed out a photo with a docking connection, which is like plugging in my phone. It still looks amazing. So far, so good, so amazing. I'm so satisfied with the results. The printing speed, it's super fast. Not only that with the border, it gives you that Polaroid vibe, but also it's like a postcard. I'm going to print out my favorite building in Boston. It's really like a postcard. You can literally make your own postcard at home. This is so cute. I have my photo album over here and I'm going to see if it will fit or do I have to cut the bottom and the top off in order to fit. It's a little bit longer. So I figured it out like over here, the dashed lines, you can just fold it down and it's super easy to break it. So you fold it both ways and it's off. It's super easy. You don't have to bring out your scissors and like cut it, trim it. You don't have to do any of that. You just like fold it down and photo the other side and it comes right off isn't that amazing this is your postcard like wow you can make your own postcard at home good quality too it's like look at this i can totally just like write something and send it out already this was the first time i saw snow see how convenient this is This one is a full-size photo without a border. I just can't express enough how satisfied I am with this result. My feet are down here, it's broken. That's like before I knew I could edit it. That is over this video. Overall, I am super satisfied with this photo printer. The photo quality is amazing. The design, everything is just very cute. I'm obsessed with this printer. It's like you can produce your own photos at home and better quality. I did notice a couple of issues is that the cartridge came with this photo printer. It says that it can print 10 sheets and they also provide you with 10 sheets of photo paper but when I had only two sheets left photo printer thought I didn't have any photo paper in it anymore I had to add in more photo paper in order for the printer to realize there are more also the cartridge says 10 sheets but my app was telling me to change the cartridge when I only print in night photos after I added in more paper I had to restart the printer in order for it to work so just keep in mind that if you run into any issue with the printer, just try restarting it. So yeah, overall, I really like it. And now it's time. It's time for the giveaway. So we're giving away two printers, one on my YouTube channel and one on my Instagram. For my YouTube channel, if you want to enter the giveaway, be sure to subscribe to my channel and Kodak's channel. I will link it down below. All the giveaway information and directions will be in my description box. Be sure to turn your subscription like to public so I can see and comment down below how you feel about Kodak's photo printer and put a quotation mark giveaway so I know you want to enter. And by the time I post this video, I will also post a photo on my Instagram and be sure to follow my Instagram and Kodak's Instagram. I will have all the information down below, so be sure to check out my description box. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye!
Kodak Doc Plus Instant Photo Printer. Why is this so long? <laughs> this is Kodak Doc Plus Photo Instant. <laughs> this is Kodak Doc Plus Instant Photo Printer. This is Kodak Doc Plus. This is Kodak. It has been amazing. I'm really hot right now. It's like when you're filming, you can't have your AC on. When the AC is on, it's just like, it's very noisy. You hear that when you're editing and it's like all this noise. It's really hot.